Welcome to the video demonstration of ATS's custom form creator iPart Suite. The iPart Suite was created to allow users to quickly and easily build mailback forms that they can utilize on their Rise websites using the tools that they are already familiar with. When this suite of iParts is installed, you'll actually receive access to five different iParts. The text box iParts, the radio button iPart, drop down list iPart, checkbox iPart, and the submit button iPart. Each of these controls have properties that will allow you to configure the form however you want and then publish the form to your site and allow users to input the information and upon submission staff members will receive an email with all the information that users have completed. On your screen here you can see a form that I have put together uh, using this suite of iParts. Here you have a content HTML that shows just some header text here. This is an instance of the text box iPart as is this and this. This is the drop down list iPart. This is the radio button iPart, text box, check box iPart, drop down list and text box iPart again and then of course the submit survey button. All of these iParts have been combined onto one RISE page in order to make up this online satisfaction survey that you're seeing. And um, the nice thing about doing it in, in individual iParts is you're able to then go ahead and use the Surf to Edit button here to edit each one of these components individually. So if I wanted to edit the header text here, I can click that icon and that will load the editor panel with the content HTML I part that allows me to edit that text. For a text box I part, once you click on that, you'll see the configuration properties available to you. Here you have the out of the box configuration options for name, title, I part, CSS class, and so on. And then down below you actually see the I part specific options here. There's an option here for the label text, in this case its name, whether or not you want to make it required, the maximum number of characters allowed, whether you're going to allow multiple lines of text which makes it either a text box or a text area based on that option, email address field, phone number field, and only allow numbers. If you look here, this is a a required text box. This is an email address. This is a phone number. And down below here is a text area. Those are all instances of the text box iPart with different configuration options to allow for different types of data. For the drop down list, it's actually quite simple. Obviously, just like the text box, you'd have to give it a label text. And then all you have to do is, is put in a general lookup table name in this case state and it pulls from those values and allows the user to select any one of the options in your general lookup table. It's the same for radio buttons and the same for checkboxes. Check Once you have the page created and you have all of the fields that you want to collect then all of the configuration options for the email are actually set up on the submit button. Here you have a configuration option for the button text, the email address that it should come from, the email address is that it can go to, and you can actually add more than one here by separating your list of email addresses with the comma, the subject of the email, and then the message displayed in the email above the information that was input, and the message that displays below that and then the success text or the text that gets displayed behind the button when somebody successfully submits the form. At this point I will go ahead and uh, walk through a form submission so that you could actually see the email that you receive. And you can see that after it's been submit, all of the controls are actually going to be um, grayed out and the user receives the message that says thank you for your feedback. A staff member internally would then receive this email detailing all the information that the user has input including the above text and below text that you've configured in the submit button. 
So as you can see with this list of controls, you're able to create any number of mailback forms and quickly and easily display that information on your RISE website for your members to complete. Thank you for watching the video demonstration. If you have any further questions or need any further assistance, please feel free to contact help at atsol.org for more information.